Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel IT Learning Lab and this is JK and today in this tutorial I am going to show you how we can install and configure Citrix license server. So guys without wasting your time let's start. For installing the license server we need a Citrix Zendesktop 7.9 installation media which I have already downloaded from the Citrix website. You guys can also download it from the Citrix website. So for that I will connect my license server. I will type mstsc here and then I will connect my license server on which I am going to install and configure the Citrix license server. So I will connect my license server. The name is L I C S E R V E S Server 01. All right. I will put my credential here. You also need to map the installation media to your license server to install and configure the Citrix license server. I have already mapped uh, the installation media to this server. I will open the my computer and then as you can see that I have already mapped my installation media to this server. I will right click on it and then we will click on open and then I will select auto select dot exe and right click on it and then run as administrator. So I am here using uh, Zen desktop which deliver the application and desktop also. Uh, I am going to use VDIs also Windows 7 desktop also. So I am going to use here Zen desktop so I will click on start and then from here I will click on delivery controller. On the next screen, you need to select accept the terms of license agreement and then click on next. On the next screen, we are going to install only license server roles here. So we need to unselect all component and then select only license server. If you want to change, if you want to change the installation directory, you can change it here and I will click on next. Right. So these are the license server ports which need to be you know, uh, allowed and configured on the firewalls if you are uh, using your license server between the firewalls. So here click on next and this is your summary page. You can review the installation directory, core components, uh, I mean which components you are going to install on this server and the firewall TCP ports which you need to allow on the firewall. So check all the things and then click on install. So friends now the installation has been started it, it will take a couple of uh, minutes to get it finished okay so here we can see that the license server has been installed successfully we can click on finish here to check that whether the license server has been installed or not we will go to start menu and then from here we will type lic citrix license administrator console we need to open this uh, citrix license administration console So friends, you can see that the uh, license server has been installed and when we open the license uh, console, uh, we can see that there is no license available right now because we haven't yet configured the license file on this license server and uh, we need to install the license file on this license server. So for that, uh, we need to download the license file from Citrix website. So uh, for that, let me switch to my another uh, computer because I do not have internet enabled on this uh, machines so I need to switch to another computer to download the Citrix license file. So to download the Citrix license file from the Citrix website we need to first register ourselves on their website to download the Citrix license file. The license file is available for 90 days trial period and we can use that license file with full functionality to configure the Citrix Zen desktop environment. So for that we need to open the browser and I will type here google.com because I'm, I'm not exactly remember the full website name so I need to search it on Google and I will type here Citrix Zen desktop right once you type the Citrix Zen desktop you can see free 90 days trial so click on this okay you will see the try Citrix virtual apps and desktop for free for 90 days and uh, here it is asking for your enter your work email address to get started we will send you a trial license so what we need to do here we need to type our email id from which we want to register on the citrix website to download the license file so here i will type my email id i have created one email id 
for a temporary basis to just download the license file so i will type here it learning lab tech at yahoo.com and in the country you need to select the country from which you belong so i am selecting here india as i belong from india and then i will click on next and then click on next here so once you you know uh, click on next it will say that we didn't did not find an, an account for it learning lab tech at yahoo.com so this is actually saying that you have not registered on the citrix website with this email id so we need to create a new account on this uh, citrix website so that we can you know uh, download the license file so we need to fill all the required details here like the first name i will type it learning that is up to you for the address i will give my address here so i will type here india city india and country india from the address uh, type your address provide your state so i am selecting here as delhi and provide your pin code or your or postal code here and in the password you need to type your password so that you can log in on the citrix website my citrix account to download the license file so i will type here the password and then you need to click on i have read and accept the citrix and you just license agreements and click on create account and send license and you can see that your uh, account has been successfully created now we need to log in on the citrix website so we will click on sign in now here give your the email id from which you have registered for your account so i will type here my email id from which i have registered here and i will click on sign in so on this page you need to go a little bit down right and then here what do i do if my license code is not working click on it to expand it right and from here you need to click on my account tool so this will you know take to you to the uh, the license dashboard from there you can download the license file for configuring the citrix license server so this is actually your uh, my citrix account license dashboard and here you can download the license file for your citrix environment so as you as you can see that uh, here we can see in active and allocate license and you see you can see that uh, we have the license available for citrix virtual apps and desktop right this is the code for the license and this is the order number and the license we have is actually 99 so means that uh, we can test uh, up to 99 users uh, to connect the citrix uh, virtual apps and vdis and this is the order date and this is the expiration so this is showing as a 90 days trial so we can use this uh, license file for 90 days with full functionality to test our citrix index so we need to click on this checkbox and then we need to click on continue so here it's showing host name so friends remember that citrix license server is always work on the host id so while downloading a citrix license file from the citrix make sure that you are typing here you are giving here on which you want to configure the citrix license server uh, the license file because the license file always work and support the host name so we need to type here the host name like my server name is l i c s e r v e r 01 so after typing the host name you need to click on continue and then this is a summary page and here you can check all the details like the host name and the quantity of the license server and the host name and the host id so we have checked that all these details are correct now we need to click on confirm so once you click on confirm you will see a pop-up window that your license was successful you, would you like to download your license file i will say okay and then you can download your license file so as you can see the above uh, this is blocking the pop-up so i need to allow this pop-up to download the citrix license file so this is the license license file which i need to save to a location now i need to go to back to my citrix license server and then i need to install this license file to that citrix server so that i can configure the citrix zen desktop 7.9 so friends after downloading the license file we need to configure the license file on the citrix license server so for that i need to connect and log in back to my license server i will go to run and then type here mstsc 
and then click on OK. I will type here my license server name and I will put my domain credential here and right so I will open the Citrix license administration console. For uh, configuring the license file on Citrix license server there, there are two ways either you can you know, uh, copy the license file directly to the to the Citrix installation directory in C program files or program files 86 depending on the version you are using uh, for Windows right and then go to the Citrix directory and then licensing and then my files folder so here you can put that uh, license file here and then restart the license services open the services dot msc and then here is the Citrix licensing file so you can uh, configure the license file uh, this way also and also there is another way uh, you can configure the license file from the uh, administration console uh, for that you need to open the, the Citrix license administration console and then you need to click on administration and here you need to type your domain credential which you used for installing the license uh, license server so I will use my domain credentials and then I will type the user ID I will click on submit so I have logged in with my uh, domain credential which I used while installing this license server so from here we need to go to vendor daemon configuration and from here you can import the license file right so this is the other way you can import and configure your license file so I am using uh, uh, the simple way which is uh, just copy paste the license file and then just restart the sub. So I have already you know uh, copied my license file to my desktop. I will right click on it and then copy and then I will paste that license file to the location where the license server is installed. So it is C program files 86 Citrix licensing my files. So now let me restart the Citrix license services. I will right click on Citrix licensing service and then restart. Now you can reload this page and here you, you can see a number of licenses are available on that dashboard. We can use this license up to 90 days with full functionality. We have a version, we can use the version like Citrix virtual apps. Citrix Virtual Apps Advanced Premium, Citrix Virtual Apps and Desktop Advanced Premium, Concurrent and User Devices. So we have uh, the license available now with full functionality, with with full you know version, with all the version available on the Citrix uh, website to configure and to test the Citrix Gen Desktop environment. So this is all done for the Citrix licensing server. We have already you know in installed the Citrix license server and we have configured the Citrix license file on the Citrix license server. So thanks, uh, so thank you friends for watching this video. Please comment, share and like and also please press the bell icon so that you can get notification for the videos uh, which I am going to upload in next couple of days. So thank you friends, thank you for watching, have a nice day.